Okay, you guys, I got a hot mess here. <laughs> um, the blue wire nut you see there, the very large one, has the neutrals. And I had to put a pigtail for the neutral on the bottom of the switch. Uh, right here, this is still live, but it's not connected yet. So that's the neutral going to the big blue wire nut there. The yellow wire nut is another pigtail that's for the second switch, which is over here, which is for the fan. So this is the bathrooms. They have a separate switch for the fan and a separate switch for the light. And they have no power source. We had a medicine cabinet with a light source inside on top uh, outlet, but this one doesn't have it when they gave her a new medicine cabinet. This is not a highly recommended job. You have to have a neutral to do this properly. And now I have a ground, which is right there. That's my ground. And I have to put a pigtail on that. So I have a lot of pigtails in here. Anyway, once I hook up my ground, then I can hook up my hot, which is on the bottom right here. That one is hot. I already tested it with my meter. And on the other side, I put the pigtail for the fan on this side. Okay, so this is the live active. Once the hot goes on here, it's gonna be active going for the fan already, whether you use the switch or the outlet or not. And in order to turn the light on, it'll say off right here. You have to turn the light on, and then the light will get power going here. This goes to the light. All right, so very difficult wiring. I wanted to show you guys. Um, you gotta take it easy on this. You have to know what you're doing. You have to use a multimeter. My multimeter is buried. <laughs> BK precision. Um, I tested with the ground which one was hot when I took it off and I haven't shut it off yet. So I know which one is hot already. I could do it for you uh, again, but I'm with my phone in my hand. So it's very hard. I don't have a camera set up. This is another quick and dirty video. Uh, my second one, my first one was for a refrigerator. I was just up in the back and I didn't know how to hold the phone correctly so I get that proper image, but I got it now. Okay, so you guys, the first one on top would be the light source going to the light itself in the bathroom. The blue one is all the, the uh, neutrals and I have one pigtail uh, going to a neutral here and I have to make another pigtail with aluminum wire is going to the ground. All right, um, ground is usually a bare wire or a or a, a green, okay? That one is bare aluminum because there's aluminum wire in this location, which is a different story. The expansion rate is different. You're supposed to use Kolar uh, outlets uh, for these devices. Um, so this thing's recommended for aluminum wire and things to understand. Okay, my hot, again, is not hooked up yet. It's just right there. So even though I'm doing this wiring and it's live, I have gloves with me. I use and I have 1000 volt AC 8 inch linesman and I have another 1000 volt AC uh, electrical pliers I can use uh, for my work, okay? So this is not really for the faint of heart for the novice, but if you understand how to use your meter, you know what you're doing, you take your time, you can get this job done. Do not rush it, okay? I don't recommend this job for most people. You're watching me do it and at least you get an eye for what's going on. Any questions, please ask. Apologize for the quick and dirty in my iPhone, but it's very difficult for me while I'm working to give you an illustration video uh, later on. And it's, oh, sorry about that. It's a little bit easier for me to give it to you uh, this format for now. Okay, I wanted to add this to the video because it's kind of important. Um, a little note on wire nuts. Wire nuts are pretty decent. I mean, if you could theoretically twist your wires together with per se a style of Lyman's pliers, uh, it's nice um, and then put your wire nut on using the proper wire, uh, size wire nut is important up north we would tape these if we could but inside this box everything is so tight and then the last bit little tidbit is actually taking your liners pliers and putting it on there and tighten up uh, something i think i'm done with two bucket uh, then tighten this with, with your with your liners pliers after you get it hand tight to give you a really nice tight fit uh, and then you know your thing, your setup is nice and tight and you don't have to worry about anything coming loose in the wall later on. I apologize about the tool bucket falling on the floor. <laughs> okay, more to go. <laughs> I do have my ground hooked up now. Um, hopefully you can see that the wires wrap around the screw the way the screw is tightened. Okay, you can see that in all those three. That's uh, another thing I didn't point out, I apologize. Um, 
again quick and dirty okay but all these things are important that's the only reason i'm, I'm making these part of videos uh, i'm gonna put the power on the active side here on the switch and then uh, again i have active power to the fan whether i'm using light switch or not and we're gonna test all that the last thing i'm gonna do is put a little tape around the wire nuts this is the thing we've always done up north because we use metal boxes so i don't know if it's cold up north but it's, i've always been doing that up north over here they have plastic boxes so and i don't see very many people do that one of the reasons i started doing this when i came here years ago was basically because i know the expansion rate between copper and aluminum is different and i've seen very many loose uh nuts for the aluminum wiring much more than copper uh especially on the hot side where it would spark and different things uh, not pretty you might see or happen but no fires yet but definitely not a pretty sight so adding a little tape around that might help in a situation like that okay and that's a preventive measure i've been taking nobody suggested to me but since i've been doing it i'm going to suggest it right i don't think i have anything else for you except the test i'm going to do in a second i'm going to pause the video thank you honestly this one is a hot mess <laughs> um i was correct uh, where I put the light switch everything I didn't have to change anything that's my glass that excuse me getting older and my pointer use this one for now even though this is yellow and this is white you would think you put your hot there and you put your neutral here on the other side of the switch it says active line and there's a big difference between line and load you see this on GFCI's a lot People call them GFI, but it's actually called Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter GFCI. So if you see the word line or load on a device like this electrical device, outlet GFCI, GFI, switch, um, this is the outlet and a switch, then you're gonna put your live where, where it says line. And your load, you're gonna put where it says load. This one does not say load, it only says live active. So I went with the presumption it was correct and it was correct. All right, so, so far, so good. And you can see my little test there. Two yellow bars tells me everything's wired correctly. I don't have a hot uh, ground reverse. I don't have uh, open ground, hot neutral reverse, or anything like that. Okay? And on the other side, you can see I got the power on over there. And we're going to test the fan. The outlet is always live, okay? Here's the fan. That was the switch over there, excuse me. So... Now all we gotta do is test the light, tape it up on around the nuts and put it back together. That's it. Lights are on. Everything is good. I tape up around the nuts themselves, behind the mounting plate. I right, about two wraps and I'm good to go. Uh, I think that helps me and I did describe why I thought it helps me. And we do that up north with metal boxes here with plastic boxes. I don't think it's cold or necessary, but it's, uh, extra step I take especially if I'm mixing copper and aluminum together all right we'll figure out how to splice these wires together I just wanted to see you let you guys see what it looks like when it's taped okay okay finally I'm done have two more problems with the tape the device did not want to fit in the junction box I had to take a Dremel tool and I had to grind it out a little bit to get it to fit the second time that happened to me okay so there are other ways to do this but i figure i will let you know I'm clean up my mess <laughs> now i can actually get out of here put the cover back on just wanted to see it's flush uh, the way it's supposed to be but did not want to fit in there just because i had tape wrapped around the outlet so uh, it might not even fit in there if i put tape didn't put tape but i'm happy it's good to go it's the best i can do for today Theoretically, if I had aluminum wine, that's what I would use. But I don't think it's necessary at this point. If you take all the safeties I did, tighten your wine, twist them together, uh, tape the wires, all the device itself, the way I showed you, I think you'd be good to go. Okay, final test. First power for the outlet. It switches off for the light. We're good to go on that. Two yellow bars. That's why correctly, okay? On this particular outlet tester light is on now and the fan 
everything is working correctly. Bye.